one day mommy noticed that Chris looked sad and was not having a fun day. Not that he might be sick, not that he might have allergies, not that he might you know, have a low blood sugar. No, we better take you to a teddy bear in the back of a truck. Mommy remembered that Chris' best friend Pat moved away. Oh, because the friend moved, you need drugs. Chris was sad. We've got something that will eat your brain and reduce your life expectancy by 33%. It's liberal, though. <laughs> Imagine you're big pharma. You support eugenics. You support race studies. You support IBM. You finance Hitler. You support forced sterilization of millions of American school children in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and even 50s. You support injecting black people secretly by the hundreds of thousands with live syphilis so they can spread it in their communities. And that's just some of what's declassified. You take thousands of foster children mainly white Appalachians, and you radiate them to death in secret radiation studies that were finally suspended in 1972. That's declassified Department of Energy, 1987. Why am I mentioning all this? Because you can look it up for yourself. In the mid-80s, they created the Vaccine Damage Fund so that they could secretly have secret courts that paid people out for vaccines killing their kids, brain damaging them, you name it. And then they tell you on the news, safe and effective, there are no side effects. Folks, by law, the inserts in the package that the doctor gets says it can kill you, says it can brain damage you, and says quite commonly it will give you an autoimmune disorder. guillain Barre's neurological disorders. Dr. Group's here with us right now, but I want to show you something shocking and then give him the floor to cover this. The new freedom initiative that Congress passed in 2005 had to then be passed by all 50 states. Most of them have done it. And the goal stated by Big Pharma, we had Ron Paul on at the time when he was a congressman and others, said Big Pharma has written the guidelines, written the coloring books, written the materials, written the screening, and that they want by 2015 to have this in place nationwide and soon after and now we're here, it's 2017, a few years late. We want to drug half the kids. That was the goal of the new freedom initiative. You can search engine it. Well, Dr. Group points out the legislature of Texas was one of the last. They just passed it. Here's the coloring book. The children are being given in uh, kindergarten, elementary, and second grade. So kindergarten, first, and second grade. And it's so sick. It's a baby kangaroo. Chris's mommy took Chris to a special doctor. The doctor's a teddy bear. This is just like a child molester. Oh, I mean, you know, get in the car, <laughs> kid. Bad, we got a teddy bear. Uh, you, know, the, the, you know, the doctor had something between his legs for the baby. I, I mean, this is a lollipop. This is so sick, folks. This is what, and they got your kid captured, coming in with, with guidelines, by law, going to test them, and then going to try to force drug them. And California already passed the law <laughs> to vaccinate your kid without your consent. So they're here. They're out of control. Just a few headlines, though, because they got to target kids now because adults realize this is bad. This is out of the Daily Mail. Warning for those on antidepressants. The commonly prescribed drug raises the risk of early death by 33%. And then it goes on. Google now is testing people for psychological stuff. And we have Professor. We'll just get rid of all the white people in the United States because they're not submitting to this. And, of course, she's a weird white lady. So, Dr. Group, let's go over the coloring book, the law, we'll, we'll do document cam shots. This is so mega massive. Folks need to know, this isn't to screen somebody to see if they've got schizophrenia or whatever. Or That's already going to happen. This is to get you into a system, ask you questions written by drug companies where the kids play along with it and believe that it's good, just like it tripled the amount of suicide after suicide education started in the 1990s. Kids weren't thinking about how to hang themselves with a shoelace. But it was epidemic and still is. Then they teach girls, don't cut yourself. Girls think, let me cut myself. Dr. Group, this is so blatantly sick and blatantly obvious and blatantly evil. It's disease mongering, basically, is you convince a kid or you convince a parent that the chil children have a disease. Or now you're even convincing the teachers in the schools to recognize 
kids that act up or kids that seem to be hyperactive. Alex, I mean, I can honestly say everybody that I talked to, if I was in school, I would have definitely been on some sort of medication by the time I was five. There's a real uh, covert agenda here with psychiatry. There's been a covert agenda ever since psychiatry was invented, and that was produced by the pharmaceutical companies with one thing in plan, to get every single person on pharmaceutical medications for diseases that they make up in rooms. Now, I'm not saying depression doesn't exist or anxiety doesn't exist or sadness. But they even exist. admit they're just saying when a woman's had a baby, get her on drugs the rest of her life. Or have you been in a car wreck? You need drugs. They're saying you're never going to get out of it. Don't go march up a hill. Don't get sunshine. Don't go take on a new hobby. Doctors used to say you're down. You got the blues. Go outside. Right, but we've gotten away from that because of so much money. And we know if you don't get enough light in your eyes from the sunlight, Northern Europe put in artificial light, their suicide rate went back down to low. Well, seasonal affective disorder was actually developed by the psychiatry industry. You know, years ago, exactly what you said, if you're not getting enough sunlight during the winter, they would say go outside, you know, eat healthy, do different things, go sit in a spa somewhere, some springs, drink some clean water. You know, have some fun. That's what the Japanese, the Europeans, the uh, the African shaman would say. Go to the hot springs. You know, uh, you go on a nature walk if you're depressed. And it always worked. So the psychiatry industry, there was one doctor a long time ago who came up with a genius report. And it said that mental disease is caused by a chemical imbalance. And they found, they took that report and ran with it because now they had some evidence that the pharmaceutical companies would be able to create products for that. Thorazine was one of the first uh, products. Of course, cocaine was used in Europe back in the day, too. Sigmund Freud was completely addicted Sigmund to it. Freud, absolutely. He wrote about it and he endorsed it. Uh, and let's go further, though. They said, Dr. Pepper, the doctor's going to pep you. It was the first drink with cocaine. Coke came along after, but it was invented right here in Texas in, in, in Temple. My family was involved in it, strangely enough. But, but the point is, it, it was in a good way. Hey, give me some of that Dr. Pepper. And it, the doctor would pep you, and you needed the doctor three times a day. Mental conditions, I mean, if you want to talk about torture, like if you look at torture in war, this is actual torture. Because if you look at the history of psychiatry, lobotomies were performed. People were shocked. People were drowned uh, till they couldn't breathe anymore and then tried to be revived. And the, it's Joseph Mengele stuff. And the good news is we beat them then. We're going to beat them and their cult takeover with our children now because this is child abuse. Plain and simple, all the gender reassignment for three-year-olds. Camille Paglia said it too. It's pure child abuse. But, but let's be sp specific. It's true that they discovered by 1900 that most schizophrenia was chemical from people working in lead and heavy metal areas and that they could detox. That was medical doctors discovered that. Psychiatry jumped on and said, see, it's all chemical and started claiming everything was chemical. No, most schizophrenia they've proven is lead, mercury, arsenic, heavy metal contamination. You can try to detox if your brain isn't too far gone. So there's some truth to most what you'd call mental illness is somebody that's poisoned. They just took that basic truth and extended it. That's exactly what happened. It is a chemical imbalance, but it's a chemical imbalance because you're taking in toxic chemicals. But they don't want to address the root cause of the problem. They just want to address the symptoms. As a, you know, you look at fluoride, you look at mercury, the Mad Hatter, which they were talking about that caused mental illness. They use mercury in the in the. Uh, <clears throat> you can have spinal disorders. The atlas can be off in your uh, in your head area, and that can cause a reduction of blood flow to the brain, and it can cause mental disorders. They're literally. There's so much money and there's absolutely no proof behind depression, uh, anxiety, all of these mental disorders, shyness. I mean, there's close to 400 mental disorders listed in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. And they're always expanding it. They're always expanding always. it. Now they're coming up with the DSM-5. You have addiction to the Internet, addiction to this, uh, social media addiction that can be treated and none of it can be proven. If you have cancer, you can take a screen of your body and you can look at the screen and see the cancer. There's no urine test, there's no blood test, there's no s testing that you can literally verify. Well, the point is they admit, that they admit they're a cult taking over under the new system where you wanna be a victim. Everybody gets to have their designation now. Everybody is being inducted 
into this system. And those of us that don't want to do it, they're saying we're the bad guys. But here's the bottom line. They're targeting children. Go over the notes you wrote with this doctor. Go over the bill again that Texas passed. Other states already have this as well. This is in place in, what, 43 states. Last time I checked. So show folks the bill that passed that becomes law in just a few weeks. And then now this is the forced brainwashing of your children with coloring books. Not just to learn that they're evil because they're white. Or not just to be brainwashed to be have chips on their shoulders if they're not white. Now they're going to be psychologically tested and drugged using comic books, written uh, coloring books, written by Big Pharma to induce them into being sad and learning how to basically have Munchausen's by proxy. They are medically abusing these children, trying to induct them into mental patient behavior as a way to believe they receive love because they do this. This is a psychological warfare tactic, so show folks the bill first. Yeah, I just want people to wake up to the reality of what's currently going on out there because a lot of parents, I didn't even know about this, and a lot of parents don't know about this. This might be going on in your school, and your, chil your child for sure is being evaluated every single day and that, for a possible... Let's show them the bill first because new, new viewers just tuned in. I want to go so Lynn, your hair. Uh, this is this is in the state of Texas that just came out. Uh, as a matter of fact, it just came into effect show September folks. 17th. Uh, September 2017. Now, why do you... Th I always ask why. Why do you think that they're targeting age groups? This, this Chris or you sad is targeting young children. They are diagnosing young children with bipolar disease because of temper tantrums. They're being diagnosed and put on medications of bipolar. And the new thing is screening for sexual reassignment as well. Once they can do the screening, they can start screening for whatever they want and then write it the way they want. Which, by the way, was was a diagnosis of mental illness, but they took that out, homosexuality, as a diagnosis of mental illness, which was in the original DSM. They took it out because... It, they feel that it's no longer... Well, that shows how it can be whatever the psychologists want. If they exactly. wanted to be bigoted, they could call it mental illness. Now they're saying if you don't teach your kid how to be a tranny, uh, that's mental illness. No, that's child abuse, messing with the sex of a child. So they've just traded out one thing. To, it just shows it can be whatever they want. It's the new priesthood. Listen to how sick this is. I listened to a 911 call the other day from a dad who had was having troubles at work, was stressed out. He went to a psychiatrist. They put him on antidepressants. And you know this, Alex. This is why all the violent school shootings and everything happens. Uh, for some people, it can make you extremely violent. He calls into 911 and he says, I don't know what happened. I took my medications and I just killed my two daughters. That's right. I mean, how... Yeah, can we pull that, that up? Uh, I forgot the name of it. I couldn't even hardly listen to it. It was uh, Father... Father calls 911, I just killed my two daughters. Let's let's find that. What was the name of the article? Uh, I don't know. It was just it was the 911 call that I, I was listening to. So you heard it on the radio? Or yeah, I remember it seeing that too. It, it, yeah, it's a 911 call. 911 call, two, father talks like about that. killing his two daughters. Continue. But but going back to the bill. No, go uh, back, go back. Go, <laughs> go back to the bill in Texas. So I always ask myself, why are they doing this? And is there anything we can do to prevent it? Obviously. But this bill states that and it goes into effect this month that it requires at least one mental health screening to be provided under the program using one or more validated standardized mental health screening tools, which are bogus to begin with, to each recipient who is at least 12 years of age but younger than 19 years of age. Why is it between 12 and 19? Ladies and gentlemen... What they know you, that is the you most. go through when, you, when you're 12 to 19? Puberty. And everybody has turbulence. Everybody's deciding who they are. Everyone is differentiating from their family. Everyone is designed to leave the hut, start your own hut. You're going through an existential crisis. Exactly. Why are they doing all this? Well, obviously, it's for a lot of different reasons, Alex. Number one is they want people to be in the system. They want to have everybody to have a diagnosis of mental health. It's a corporate takeover by Big Pharma through their control freak priest class that knows full well what they're doing. All of these medications lead to multiple side effects. Over 780,000 adverse effects have been reported with psychotropic drugs. That's humongous. They know that they're going to put you on multiple other medications, but they also know that you're going to be in the system and that there, is law, there are laws written that if you have mental illness, they can take you or your kids and you have zero rights at any time that they want to take you. It also prevents you from having a gun in most cases. So they're going to shut you down that way. And it's going to dumb you down 
and make you easily controllable. And I've even read some reports now about uh, electromagnetic frequencies and when you combine these psychotropic medications with different types of chemicals. Well, that's why they're spraying aluminum in the atmosphere, not just weather control. They admit all that as well. But Dr. Group, let's get back into the coloring book. Yeah. Our audience knows this. What do they do to get the word out that the next big rollout phase is here? And by the way, we did find the 911 tape. He's talking about it's chilling. We're going to play it after the break just to illustrate what we're up against. Totally normal people get put on these drugs. They don't even tell you when you get them that it's a 33% increase in, in early death or that a massive increase in psychotic breaks, megalomania, mass murder. It says it on the insert because it is a hallucinogen system. But instead of seeing pink elephants and stuff, folks, you don't go into full hallucination. You go into a subconscious realm in between consciousness and unconsciousness. You go into a dream state. It's a highly suggestible mind control drugs. Uh, this is a fact. It says it on the inserts. Yes, it does. So basically, just to go back to the coloring book, I'll just show you the last few pages, which is sickening. Chris's mommy took Chris to a special doctor. I can help you. Everything's going to be okay. <sighs> this doctor asked Chris questions about how Chris felt and gave Chris some medicine. Isn't oh, that nice isn't that, that eats that holes nice. in their brain? Which Here's something way worse than cocaine and heroin. Totally deadly. Oh. oh, now Chris takes medicine every day. And Chris goes to see a special person to play and talk. By the way, most sexual crimes are actually um, uh, done with psychiatrists. Uh, because of medication, oh, they get to know the children. It is is absolutely sick. And they know they can control the whole deal. I don't. I don't want to lump every all the psychiatrists. No, there are a lot of good people. There are a lot of good. And people. Carl Jung was a great guy. The point is, there's big pharma trying to find bad people. Yeah. Like 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 I've been in a clinic, you know, just to get a checkup or whatever, and you'll see the most gorgeous supermodel woman. I've seen this like twice. And I go, who is that? And they go, oh, that's the drug rep. And you got the doctors eating out of their hands. And the word is, they don't just give them little bonuses and stuff. The doctors that get the big bonuses, they get the sugar. So they're using <laughs> sex. To, no, you didn't know about this? It's, oh, it's been in the, it. it's been in the it. news that the, no, the drug reps no, are basically know. prostitutes. Absolutely. No, no, it's, it's serious. I yeah. mean, have you ever had them threaten, you know, want to take care of you? A little? No, because I don't deal with drugs. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying, though. I'm sure you've heard about this. No, I've The drug heard reps are known to like. I've heard about it. As a matter of fact, you can type in Google, psychiatrist, Worst doctors, psychiatrists, fraud. You can type psychiatrist fraud. They, they have the most cases of fraud. Look, look, look. There are a lot of good doctors. It's that it's a drug-pushing industry. It is. And now they, look, where do drug dealers famously target people to get a new slave and to get a pusher? They target 12, 13, 14-year-old kids in the playground to be pushers. And that's all this is. So and listen to this. What do pedophiles There's use? A special person to play and talk. And then after a while, oh. Chris is sleeping better, eating again. Look at this, especially dessert. Actually. Oh, you get you get the, of the sugar. So, so there's a teddy bear doctor, oh, and, and you get dessert when you get in the van. Just get in the big pharma van. There's teddy bears. There's clowns. There's 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 cake. You're down. There's there's a whole circus down here. Just come in the sewer, and you'll float too. <laughs> You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. I'm Alex Jones, your host, and I'm hopping mad. They have the new Freedom Initiative. It's bipartisan. They want to drug our children. They have liability protection uh, for the vaccines. Now they want it for the antipsychotics, for the psychotropics. It's incredible. And it's on the insert that it causes psychotic breaks. It's on the insert that it makes you kill your family, that it takes away the impulse control that people normally would have. Like, you're going to have a great time on acid until you have a bad trip. It's in the same class. You just don't see funny colors and stuff, though. A lot of folks get the wrong balance of the medication. And yeah, you can have some really crazy people. This stuff might actually help them. They've got studies that uh, ecstasy is, you know, helping people. Uh, MDMA or whatever it's called uh, in big studies for PTSD. But, but not when you're taking it every day, okay? And the point is you put tens of millions of people on this, it can get explosive. So let's go over this. Chris, are you sad? Oh, look, Chris is sad, crying. Oh, the school bus. In the morning, Alex goes to school on the big yellow bus. Chris's mom brings Chris to daycare and then goes to work. Have a good day. I'll see you at home. Good mommy. She, she's not with her kids. Uh, yeah. Daddy, pick, we're not saying moms are bad that do that. The point is that they just, ever this is propaganda. Daddy picks up Chris at daycare. Yay. 
Send the kid to daycare. Don't Daddy to drives daycare. Chris home. I mean, after all that driving and daycare, I'd be depressed. One day, Mommy noticed that Chris looked sad and was not having a fun day. Not that he might be sick. Not that he might have allergies. Not that he might you know, have a low blood sugar. No, we better take you to a teddy bear in the back of a truck. Mommy remembered that Chris' best friend, Pat, moved away. Oh, because the friend moved, you need drugs. Chris was sad. We've got something that will eat your brain and reduce your life expectancy by 33%. It's liberal, though. But this time, Chris was very sad for a long time. Oh, you, you lean over, and at the end, you get ice cream because you want the drugs. Chris cried a lot when Mommy asked, why, Chris? Said, I don't know. Chris acted grouchy most of the time. Oh, he was bad. It wasn't... Grouchy is a symptom of, you know... It wasn't red dye. It wasn't too much TV. It wasn't enough time with parents. It wasn't just normal acting out. needs discipline. You need hardcore psychotic drugs. Because they have antipsychotics. These make you psychotic. Chris didn't feel like eating even the dessert. Oh, Chris mm -hmm. had trouble sleeping. Oh, my gosh. Mommy and Daddy sat down. It's not that Chris wasn't playing outside anymore and watching TV all day. No, it was that he needed hardcore drugs. Eat holes in your brain. Everyone feels sad sometimes, but you've been very sad for a very long time. We want to help you feel happy again. Oh, how sick this is. There's a drug dealer, but he looks like a teddy bear. Now, get in the back of the white truck. It's all right. So the opposite of you. don't get in the back of the truck when a guy offers you a teddy bear or a puppy or ice cream. Now, go to this room with this man named Joseph Mingala. Chris's mommy took Chris to a special doctor who looked like a teddy bear. He said, I can help you. That's not creepy. The doctor asked Chris questions about how Chris felt and gave Chris some special medicine. And now he sees stars and so fun as his brain dies. Ah, thank you, mommy. Now Chris takes medicine every day and sees the happy colors. Chris isn't growing a lot and has big zits all over his body and and he started having convulsions last week but now we just put him on extra drugs yeah, and now oh mommy, mommy likes him too mommy likes him and chris goes to see a special person to play and talk looks like a person out of the shining oh and and, and then chris thinks about slitting his wrist or hanging himself now because now they've got the death education after a while, Chris is sleeping better. Chris feels like eating again. Drugged out. Oh, he sleeps good, just like the sanitarium. And he loves his ice cream. His tongue's hanging out. His sugar. Oh, he isn't getting grouchy all the time now. Chris likes to play again because Chris is dead. His soul's gone. <laughs> liberal. Liberal. Salon says pedophilia is good. The deputy pope likes to traffic children. Hail Satan. Take your pills. Chris was a sad little Joey until Is he... Chris a boy or a girl? Until he... It's a transgender. Until he met a nice little man that had ice cream and puppies. As soon as he took the medicine, he saw funny colors. He couldn't walk very well anymore, but... That was okay. And Chris is constipated, and he's going to get diabetes and gain weight because of the medications. And it says right here, 33% increase in death. But see, that's when you die. And oh, then he the friendly teddy bear taught me how to have pustules all over my body and start withering away and giving me deadly drugs that say they can cause me to murder my mommy and daddy. But it's liberal, so it's okay. And we're going to make money. Sorry, Grip, I've been taking over. You go ahead now. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just a warning to everybody out there. I, this is like a, a this is like the this is not a prime kids for pedophilia. It's like it, white trucks pull up, they got ice cream, they got puppies, they got teddy bears. Get in the back, kid. You see a clown down in a gutter, he wants to give you some drugs. Take him. You see Pennywise? He's actually a nice guy. Alex Jones is a bad guy with that Dr. Group. You sad? Oh, yeah. We're Little Georgie, stick your hand way. down this drainage chute. You're going to like it when I tear it off at the elbow. <laughs> Sorry, group. Go ahead. Anybody who's trying to help anybody is bad, Alex. I mean, that's our job. Is, <laughs> I mean, even, even like the John Oliver show and all that stuff. Uh. They're saying all that stuff about our supplements. 
I want to see how many people John Oliver has helped. I want to see if John Oliver can even get into MIT, which they said I didn't even get. John Oliver's such a coward. He'll have kids, shoot them up with vaccines, watch them have convulsions, and he'll celebrate it. I'm telling you, they're the type that would that would never even say they made a mistake. Because they're Sorry, go ahead. Have you noticed how, how much Hollywood is discredited lately? I mean, seriously, does anybody watch the Emmys and the Oscars anymore? I mean, because of Netflix and because of all these independent YouTube documentaries and because of Hulu and because of all these other Amazon, I mean, not that I like Amazon at You've all. You've done well, Lord Vader. Have you, I mean, remember when we were growing up how everybody, everything revolved around Hollywood and over the last, and this is just my observation of how we are making some progress, Alex, how we are improving. You know, we are, people are waking up because of all the efforts that are happening. I mean, I've seen Hollywood just, shoot themselves in the foot over and over. Record low ratings, they're imploding. Have they're you seen them imploding, man? Have you seen the Morgan Friedman thing when he's like, we are at war with Russia. We need to attack Russia. It's like, what the <laughs> it's like they've gone crazy. Uh, Meanwhile, Russia's doing Russia's doing nothing to us. Nothing. 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 At all. I mean, Nothing. You know, what is all this about? We've been attacked and we're at war. We're not at you know we're at war with ourselves. We're, we're at war with psycho ourselves. demons trying to drug our kids. It's all about the children, and they know that. I mean, it's like, what is the next generation going to do? They're putting every effort right now into completely sterilizing. Psychiatry started as a eugenics Listen. program in, in Germany. The Nazis started. That's right. I've got, I've got two different clips where I've got at the Texas Board of Psychiatry and other meetings where they go, we need to drug all the kids and give them vaccines and brain damage them for the greater good. And then this woman says, we'll just get rid of all the whites in the United States. That's a quote. You know why? That's Because the whites, and it's not, it's not even true. It's highly educated people aren't taking it. Gee, because you think they might want to read a drug insert before you take it? Gee, they were even trying to put vaccines in foods and genetically modified. Oh, yeah, Bill Gates is coming out with that. To where you can eat an apple and you get vaccinated. They, they, we have such a war going on in our own country right now. We have a war going on all over the world. But when you look at the toxicity, they just sprayed hundreds of tons of chemicals all over our heads in Houston. But that's not going to make Chris sad. Mosquitoes control. And of course, that's going to make Chris sad. And when Chris gets more sad... Chris isn't going to try to clean up his environment. Chris is going to go deeper down the rabbit hole. No, let's just give Chris more Take forward. drugs that are so deadly, they fry your brain so bad that you're in freaking la-la land. What is the only thing that removes fluoride from the brain? Iodine. Now that's under attack. We'll we're we're going to talk back. about it all when we come back. Stay with us. Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine. If you're interested in healthy thyroid, if you're interested in well-being, if you're interested in having a higher IQ, which this has been linked to, get your powerful Survival Shield X2 at InfoWarsStore.com.